but the things that you've been through, the things that you experience, they kind of cover your face. No, you can't see it. You are being hidden from your true self. When you think that you are unforgiven, when you think that you are angry, when you think that you are all these things, and you, re you remember who hurt you, you remember what they did to you, you remember what they said to you, you remember what they touched you when you was not wanting to be touched, you remember growing up in a household, you remember in a relationship, and every time you remember, it covers your face from seeing your true self. Many of us seeing our true self based on what we experienced in the past. You cannot allow those things to come up. So sometimes you got to make a conscious decision to find yourself, dig deep and look at yourself. Don't just look at your anger. Listen, scrape it off. You have to get rid of the anger. Many of us are angry. If you're angry, you can, you're not going to find yourself. You have, to, you have to forgive those who hurt you. Then that's one layer comes off again. Then you have to forgive those that you are still resent. You, that you still resent. That's one, um, another, um, what do you call it? Layer comes off. Then now you have to see what you're still bitter about in life. Layer comes out. You got to go back in time and realize who said this to you. All those belief systems and all those values that you hold that's no more value to you. You got to peel it off. And finally, when you have peeled off all those things and you see your true self, you cannot help but love it. Because you were created. Now you go back as a child. Now you're seeing your own baby. Now you're seeing your firstborn or your children born. Brand new perfection life. There is no bitterness. There is no anger. There is no hate. All you can see is love now. All you can see is love. Because those things no longer exist. It no longer exists. So if they no longer exist, now you're viewing life from a different perspective. Because right now, many of us who are hurt will view life from a hurt Lens. So everything looks as pain. Everything looks as hurtful. Everything looks as the past. Everything reminds you of something. Everything reminds you of a time when you were mad, when you were angry. Everything comes up and you're like, oh my God, I've I seen this before. I don't like it. But now when you get rid of all them things, you start looking at yourself like, oh my God. If you, if you know what I feel, if you know what I feel by not carrying those things in my life, if you know the joy I feel, and I'm talking about me personally, you won't, listen, you, oh, <sighs> you won't even carry anger anymore. If I tell you, <laughs> yes, thank you, um, thank you, Malina, I love it. If I tell you that, you just got to make the decision. You, you just got to make the, the decision to stop being angry and to stop being carrying on all this stuff and to stop being triggered by everybody's opinions and to stop worrying about what they say about you. They don't know you. They don't know themselves. You know, we, we are so hateful to people who, see, who speak negative to us. They don't know themselves because when you know yourself, you don't spread negativity. I promise you. We see people all the time on here and everywhere. Thank you so much, vegan girl. You know, we, life is a celebration. Exactly. We see, hey Storm, how are you? We see people all the time who are speaking negative and always drama and always this. It's because they don't recognize the beauty within. Because when you see beauty, you speak beauty. This is how you know when you need to heal. If you're not speaking beautiful words, if your words is always ugly, if your words make you sick, if your words make people stay away from you, if your words is not healing and bringing healing, if your words is not beautiful to the ears, if your words don't make people smile, if your words don't make people feel good, then it's toxic. It's not good. And this is how you know. This is how you know when you ain't good. When you know that you need healing. Because whatever comes in, it will go out. And if that's how it goes out, then you need help. If what's coming out is toxic, inside is toxic. If this what's coming out is hate, then you are filled with hate. If this is coming out is unforgiven, then you are unforgiven. If this coming out is anger, then you are angry inside. You is not worth it. To carry around those negative frequencies, those negative vibes, it is not worth it because they are making you sick. Every day you carry in this, it's making you sick. Every day you hold on to anger, it's creating sicknesses and diseases. Every day you hold on to resentment, it's creating in you something, a form of negative vibes and your energy is, is minimal, your frequency is minimal. You can't connect to God, you can't connect to the universe, you can't speak life into your kid's life. Every time you walk around sick, your kids suffer because you heal your kids when you heal you heal
breathe. You break that cycle. Your kids could actually breathe. Because every time you breathe, and the negative breathe out, because every time you breathe, you breathe in energy. And when you breathe this energy into your household, that breath is spread around. That breath comes out to you, and you don't know where it's going. You don't know where it's going. And your poor kids are there breathing that nonsense in. Your kids are there breathing in that toxic. I can't say the word. Toxicity. Toxicity. To you know what I mean? Your kids are breathing in this thing. What do you suffer? What do you suffer from? I don't, I don't understand the question. But yeah, you got to, every time you breathe out, you exhale that garbage. It's like if you're carrying the coronavirus, you wear a mask because every time you breathe out, you spread the germs. Every time you sneeze, you spread the germs. Every time you breathe with negative energy, because all your thoughts are negative, and every time you're thinking negative stuff, remember your thoughts travel at the speed of light. So every time you're thinking, you don't know where them thoughts are going. And they are, your thoughts connect to something else. They connect to your kids. You think that you think that you could just think? You, you, do you really think that you have to... Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. You know what, man? You are making me deep now. Hold on. How dare you? Seriously, how dare us? How dare us think that we could just think? We have the right to just think nonsense. Your kids are sleeping. And you think that you have the right to just think nonsense. I'm up all night thinking. Your kids... Understand this. Let's go deep for a second, okay? Let's go deep for a second. Your kids are sleeping. That means your, your kids' conscious minds are closed. Their subconscious minds are open. So they are still, their brain is still functioning. Their brain is still working. You there thinking all these negative things, doing all this crap. Your kids are sleeping. They are very vulnerable at this time because they are sleeping. Now their spirit is sensitive. They're not, listen, they're sleeping. They're not dead, they're sleeping. Now you up all night thinking and your thoughts are protruding you and going. You don't know where they're going. You just can't take a gun and just shoot. It might hit somebody that you love. You might just hit somebody for real. So when you're thinking, don't think that your thoughts are just staying in there. No, your thoughts travel. Your thoughts travel. Just like how your thoughts travel when you thought about your mom or your boyfriend or your husband or your friend that you ain't seen in 10 years and they call you instantly. Boom. Hey, I was just thinking about you and you just called. Yes, because your thoughts travel. Your thoughts are traveling all day, every minute. But here you go, just thinking. Oh my God, oh my God, I'm sorry. So, I'm so, I don't feel good. Your thoughts are traveling to your, to your kids. Your kids are susceptible to that. It's hurting them all day, all night, especially when they're sleeping. The nightmares are coming because now them things are going through. They are going through their conscious mind. I mean, their unconscious mind. I know they're dreaming things that you don't understand. Waking up with all these dreams and fear. They, your kids are fearful just like how you are fearful. Because once you, are, once you breathe that fear out in your household, your kids are scared to death too. So one of the reasons why you got to make sure you heal is you, you can't be healing for 10, 15 years. Come on, now it's time. Yeah. Thoughts are energy. Very powerful. Listen. We, we ain't got time to be wasting because every time you stay unhealed and unforgiven and sick and angry, your kids are out there in the dark by themselves. They need help. That's why they just, this is why the whole world is so, listen, when it comes to my children, whew, when it comes to my children, I'm very aware of what my children get because God knows the way I speak to their mother, the way I, the way I speak to her, the way I speak to them, the way I speak to I, my energy, my, the way I show my baby girl the love, the way I show my son um, discipline and love, the way I show them, it, it, has to, it, it has to be intentional. Let me tell you, let me tell you one thing a man or woman are. They're watching. Let me tell you one thing an adult is. An adult is intentional. An adult has to be intentional with your words, your actions, and your thoughts. You have to be intentional. If your thoughts are unintentional, you're going to affect your own life gonna affect your kids life you have to be intentional you have to become an intentional person your thoughts have to be guided from your intention you in, you have to have an intent for your thoughts they are sponges for real the minute people see everything they see everything thank you um, petty one two zero seven how how to deal with the pain of love so it's not the pain of love. It's not the, it's not the love that's creating pain. Love don't create pain. Love don't create pain. Conditional love cure pain. Just because you love someone, 
and they leave doesn't mean that you don't stop loving them. Love is eternal. Love, love, is, I don't want to say it's a risk. Okay? It's not a risk. It's not a bad thing. You say risk because it becomes a bad thing. So it's not a risk. But love is, again, I was saying love has to be something that you carry around all day. Whether you're in a relationship or not. Whether you're single or not. Whether you have kids or not. Whether you have a house or not. Whether you have friendships or not. Whether you have a car or not. Love has to be inside of you all the time. If love stays in you and you're feeling this great every day, life is just beautiful. When, see, when love is in you, life is beautiful. Life, 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 you always... See, love creates ambition. Love creates inspiration because love inspires you. Love creates motivation. Love creates beauty. Oh, you recognize beauty. Love creates peace. Because when you love, peace is there too. Because love is peace. Hey, Makeda, how are you doing? See, when you, when you love, it creates kindness. Patience coming. You know what I mean? Pride falls. When you, see, with love, all these things are happening. So therefore, think about it. Let's think about it, okay? If you carry love all day, every day, if your pride is gone, your ego is minimized, if patience is there, it's good. If kindness is there, if um, love is patient, love is kind, love, you're not boasting, all these things are minimal. So now when somebody leave your life, when somebody that, that you love leave your life, well, you're already kind. You already ain't boastful. You already um, patient. You already, um, it, uh, that ego is control. Listen, when people leave your life, you are perfectly, it's, no, it's not the type of pain that you feel. Because it's, 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 it's already in you. So whoever comes or goes, you say, oh, hey, all right. You take care now. But you cannot allow your heart to stop. You cannot allow love to stop. Because when you allow love to stop, you stop. Your life stops. You get miserable. You're the one who's miserable. You're the one who stopped glowing. Your skin don't glow no more. You don't feel good anymore. You don't feel like you're walking on sunshine anymore. I'm telling you. So, but, but when you constantly carry love around, when love becomes your second nature, your first nature, when love becomes your first nature, number one, people, when people come in your life who don't mean, well, you feel it. You don't, you, mm -mm. I don't know. I'm good. You don't attach to people. You attach to love. See, the, the, the thing is, we attach to people, not love. Let me say this again. Hey, beloved, I love your name. Beloved Oracle, okay, I see you. We are attached to people, but not love. And the only, when, the only time that we have love is when we have people. Bad, bad idea. Very, very, very bad idea. Very, very bad idea. I got a red one. I got a red one. It's a red medium. Self-love. Self, well, I'm giving away shirts today, huh? I'm giving away shirts today. Self-love. Self-love. Who's a medium? Who's a red medium? There with my toxic ex and my heart started pounding out of, man. It means that it's anxiety. Black Blondie, you a medium? Ethnic, ethnic peach. <laughs> it says signs keep decreasing. <laughs> oh, that's, that's funny. It said the signs keep um, decreasing, huh? By the way, I love this shirt, man. It's so good that it's so good when you make your own shirt because you can put anything on there. Inspired. Ah, uh, Joy Must, thank you so much. All right, I got this person right here. All right, so back to what we're saying. How can it reach to Trinidad? I don't know, but I don't know about that one because I know Trinidad is close. <laughs> I know. Trinidad. How can it reach to Trinidad? I don't know, but I don't know about that one because I know Trinidad is close. <laughs> I know Trinidad. That's the best shirt, ain't it? Though it's the best shirt. 
It's sure always the best way to promote self-love, man. Self-love. So, I forgot where I was saying. Where, where was I? I totally forgot where I was saying. Where, what was I saying? Can somebody remember? Ah, I don't remember. My, my battery has 20%. We got to... <laughs> Who got the rest shirt? <laughs> How to love you. Your son, when you love staying under someone else, evil. So, man, I'm telling you. Man, I'm telling you. I am telling you. Listen, man. I got to your side to buy one because I need that shirt. <laughs> Thank you, Andy Peach. Thank you so much. <laughs> but yeah, man, listen. And like I said, it's not about just loving yourself. You just carry love. So now, if you carry love, some has to spill on you. See, the reason why you love yourself is because you carry love. If you love yourself and you don't love Others and you don't love life and you don't love nature and you don't love the sunlight and you don't love and you don't love if you don't love then it's not really self-love that's just toxic love I don't know what that is the reason why it's called self-love right the reason why it's called self-love is because you carry in love so if you carry in something chances are you have it if you carry in it is yours it's like self-hate you carry in hate so of course it's gonna spill over on yourself and if it's carrying hate Everybody that you see, you're going to hate. Everything in life, you're going to hate. Because nothing is being targeted. But everything is. Because that's how you view everything and everyone. So if you carry your love within, you can't help but give some to yourself. This, I love this piece of life. This piece of life is beautiful. This is amazing. As a matter of fact, the more love you have, the more beauty that you see. You're like, oh my God, this is beautiful. Oh my God. Oh my God. Feel it. Have you ever felt a piece of fabric that felt so smooth and sweet? And you're like, oh. Oh, it smells so good too. Oh my God, look at it. Look at it. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. Because that's what love is. And when you connect to that love, let me tell you how to get self-love. Or how to get love inside. Let me tell you a secret, okay? Let me tell you a secret. Let, let me tell you one way to fill yourself up with love. Because everybody, a lot of people keep saying about self-love, but I don't, I don't think we understand what self-love is. Self-love is not you loving yourself because the self is not real. The self is an idea. The self is an idea of things that you experienced, that, that you seen change, that you, you know, you, you, was, uh, you was homeless and now you have a house and a car. Oh, I love myself now. It's not, see, you don't stop loving yourself when things are bad. Love is not conditioned. Okay? Love is not conditioned. It's unconditional. So therefore, if you didn't love it then, now you have a better place. You love, it's not really love because that's just a love of the flesh. That's a love of the physical things in life. Self-love, number one, it's not a physical thing. Okay? Now remember, you were always great. You was always great. You was always beautiful. You was always magnificent. And you was always God's image. However, you didn't see it then. You see it now. Or the things that you experience now, you got a better job, better house, better car, better this, better friends. And you say, oh, I love myself. It's not about the self that you love. The self is... The self is, that's why people look at themselves differently. Because the self these days is based on your experience and what you experienced and what you did and what you saw and what you, who touched you and who didn't touch you and what you felt and what you didn't feel and what you, so if that's based on the self, then you don't know self. If you only know self from the past, then you don't know, know what the self is. Because the self don't exist. The self is self-created. It's based on your perception. It's based on your thoughts. It's based on what people tell you that you are. It's based on what your ex told you, what your mother told you, what your father told you. Many of us see life from the eyes of our church, our pastors, our mother, our father, our friends, our siblings, society, TV, the media, the magazines, books, mm, schools, mm. Education, uh, from sex, uh, sing with me, uh, boom, uh, 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 hey, so we don't know our true self. How can we love what we don't know? Because to know yourself is to love yourself. To know yourself, is to, if you hate yourself, it's because you don't know yourself. You don't know how great you are. How great thou art. How great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. You don't know how great you are because you don't know yourself. But I promise you, when you take time 
Stop looking out there. Stop looking at his and at her. Stop looking for relationships. Stop looking for love. Because you hear many times people say, I'm looking for love. You're looking for love. That's a sign. If you say that you're looking for love, that's a sign of you being broken. Do you know that? I know that sounds weird. I know that sounds crazy. And I know for a fact that sounds ridiculous. I know you probably don't believe me. I don't have much time on here because my body is about to die. I have a white chakra bead. A white chakra. See how, see how beautiful it is? It's white. It has those stones. I can't make you see it clearly. It has those, those, those precious chakra beads. Uh, look how beautiful it is. From the crown chakra to the... Who is it going to be? Who is it going to be? The first person was... Uh, a now... Oh, I don't know your name. A now read first. What was the first person? Where you at? Um, A-Y-N-A-R-I-F-R-S-T. Where you at in this world? <laughs> My body was always about to die. I know, right? <laughs> you know why? Because I come on here with half a battery because I don't want to talk too long. And I know you all be letting me talk for too long. You all be, be letting me talk for too long. Don't want to be alone either. So, you don't want to find love, but you don't want to be alone. Arizona, oh, okay, I'm in Arizona too. Good. So, you close. Hey, inbox me your address, okay? Inbox me your address after this. Inbox me your address and your, and your name. So, I can send this to you tomorrow. Listen, so you say that you don't want to be, you're not looking for love, but you don't want to be alone. Let me say this, because that's a good point. Um, when you, a person who looks for love, you, you don't look for something that you, if I have this bracelet on, I'm gonna have a, let me give this some energy real quick. Let me put some energy. Send me some energy real quick. Send me some energy. Send me some energy. Let me feel your vibes. Let me feel your vibes so I could put some energy into this right here. Some love and some peace. Mm, mm, mm. I forgot what I was saying. If I have this bracelet, hi from Texas, how are you? If I have this bracelet right here, I won't look for it. Because why? Because I already have it. If I have it, I won't look for it. Why well, look for something that, that you already have? You only look for love when you don't have it within. So many of us look for love. If you look for love outside of you, if you look for love on the outside of you, you will never find it. Because it don't exist there. If you look for love in other people, you will never find it because it doesn't exist there. It's not yours, it's theirs. See, their love is theirs. Your love is yours. They have enough for them, you have enough for you. And if you don't have enough for you, then you have to build that love before you look for love. If you look for love outside of you, you're going to be hurt. If you look for love outside of you, you're going to suffer. If you look for love outside of you, you're going to be in pain. If you look for love is outside of you, it's going to be conditional. If you look for love outside of you, you, you are going to feel this wrath. Okay? You have said a message more need to hear. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. However, you said that you don't want to be alone. Here's the thing. Here's how you fix that. Here's, here, here's how you fix that. You want to know the, the secret of being alone? Alone and lonely is two different things. Somebody asks, how do you stop being lonely? Is that what somebody asked earlier? Really how do you stop being lonely? How do you not feel lonely? Lonely and alone sound similar, but they are two different words, two different frequencies, two, two different meanings. I'm not, Af well, I am African by, by DNA, but I'm not African by birth. I wasn't born in Africa. I was born in the Caribbean. But my people was African that came on a ship to St. Vincent, the slaves, and, and uh, the ship broke down on the, um, on the coast, and my people swam to the, to, to the island, so I'm, I guess I'm African. <laughs> no, that's so late. Was looking for love in someone. Yeah, you look for, anytime you look for love in someone, you're gonna, you're gonna always suffer, man. You're gonna pay the price later. Um, ah, wow, where was I? What, what was I saying? Oh, I was saying something. Will you post it on YouTube? Because this worth hearing. <laughs> yes, I'll post it. Great time to know yourself in, in the long time. Yes, man, listen, you. Oh, alone, yes, alone and lonely. 
Let me tell you, lonely is like a shadow side of being alone. See, lonely is when you hate being alone, right? If you hate being alone, let me tell you what's gonna happen. Jeremy, what's good, brother man? What's good? How you, how you doing, man? How you doing? Thanks for joining, man. When you hate being alone, what happens is that, so let's, let's understand some concept about the universe, okay? What is that verse? What is that? Let me, hold on, let, let me look for a verse. I don't have much time on, on, on thingy. Um, to whom that has Hold on, I'm looking for a Bible verse, but <sighs> Let's turn our Bible <laughs> To Matthew chapter 25 and verse 29. And I want you to understand this. Because I don't think we, we, we understand this verse very clearly. I want just the Bible just see the, the Bible is written in the Bible is written not to learn, it's to, for you to walk and experience. The Bible, you cannot know this Bible. I don't care how much time you've been to church, I don't care how much time you read it. You cannot know this until you have walked it. And it has become your truth by your experience and by your understanding. You cannot read this book. I don't care how much, I don't care what your dad is, what your mother is, what pastor they are. You could hear the truth all your life and you will never believe it. Until you walk it. That's when he said, this is what it means. Understand this. We've been reading these scriptures for all our lives and we still don't get it. I want to I wanna explain something to you, okay? Let me, let me connect this and something else to you. This and a universal fact, okay? Which is a universal fact. Okay? I want you to understand this right here. Please. You are, you are ready for this? You are, you are, you are quiet. You are in talking. Love their enemies and they hate themselves. This is the reason why they're miserable. Facts. Facts, 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 facts. Action plus knowledge equal wisdom. Facts. Facts, 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 facts. Yes, hope, love. Can you call me Conscious Kirk? Yes? Okay. So in Matthew chapter 25 and verse 29, right? It says, for to everyone who has will more be given. Okay? All right? It says, for to everyone who has will more be given. And he will have abundance. I'm sounding like, sound like, like a preacher right now. Somebody said, preach it, Kurt. Preach it. But from him who has not... <laughs> Lord, have mercy. For him who has not, even what he has will be taken away. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, Pastor Kirk. Hold on, hold on. Let's go deep. Let's go deep into this. See, we read this, but we don't understand what this means. See, we don't, we don't connect to this understanding of the Bible because we've just been hearing it all our lives. So it means nothing. It's like praying, God help me. God bless his full ass in Jesus' name, amen. This prayers mean nothing because it's, it's, just, it's just things that we do. Your mouth is with me, but your heart is far away. Your heart is far away. They praise me with their mouth, but their heart is so far away. Listen, let me read this again. <laughs> Thanks, Makeda. Let me read it again. All right? <laughs> let me read it again. For to everyone who has, and y'all can read it too. Y'all can read it too. It's Matthew chapter 25 and verse 29. For to everyone who has will more be given, and he will have an abundance. But from him who has not, even what he has will be taken away. Why would he take away from those who don't have and give to those who have more? Listen to what I'm saying is right here. If you see poverty, you will become more poverty. You will become more poor. If you see riches, you will add to your riches. The ones who are successful will always get success because that's what their vision is, right? If you see hate, there will be more hate. And the love will be taken away from you. Listen, the less love you have is the less will be taken away. Is the more that will be taken away from you. You have to understand this. You have to understand this is how it works. So if you walk around here feeling lonely, if you walk around here hate being alone, if you walk around here hate and dislike and I don't like myself, and it will you will be even more. It will be a stronger feeling. It will be a stronger vibe of you. It will give you even more reason to love yourself. It will give you even more reason to hate. It will more be given. And if you don't have self-love, you will be even be getting less because the more hate will create less love. 
You will find proof, exactly. The more you hate, you will build less love. So less love will be taken from you. Listen, you have to understand that you have to read these scriptures and understand what they are saying. I'm telling you, we're wasting our time here. Unfor That's why it's so hard to forgive because you're wasting your time Focus on unforgiveness. So therefore, it will add more to you. You will feel more reason to not forgive them. You will feel, oh my God, he don't deserve it. You will add more reason. I'm telling you, you got to be conscious. So that's why me, for one, me, I don't hold on to anything. Sometimes, yeah, people catch me off guard and I'm like, ah. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes I, you know, I catch, I'm like, dang it, I don't like you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If I don't like you, that means I don't like. And if I don't like, I'm the one who don't like. I'm, I don't like. I hate. It's me hating, not you. But my thoughts don't affect you. It affects me. My feelings don't affect you. They affect me. My words don't affect you. They affect me. My mindset don't affect you. It affects me. To hell with you. Let me get back to myself. I love. I forgive. Peace. Peace be unto you. Because it's me it affects. It's me it affects. It don't affect them. So you can carry around hate and, 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 and distrust and, and anger all you want for the rest of your life. But it doesn't affect anyone but you. It's you the one that's uh, carrying it. You are the one that whose back is hurting now. Some of you all have been having back pains for so long. And you don't even know why you have back pains. Because you're carrying a heavy load. <laughs> Carrying back pain forever. You know why? You know why? Do you know why you're carrying this back pain? Because you're carrying a heavy load on your shoulder. You worry about what people think. Some of you all, your period pain is so bad. Your stomach hurts. You go to the hospital every month to, to, to get yourself checked because you're carrying the wrong diseases. You, you, you're carrying the wrong illness that don't need to be there. And your body is trying to get rid of it, but it can't because your mind keeps holding on to it. Your mind is holding on. Some of, you are, some of you are gaining weight because you're in a relationship. And as you're in a relationship and with somebody that don't love you, so you can't speak your truth, you can't connect to your truth, you got to walk on eggshell, so you're, getting, so you're gaining weight. If you smell a pizza, you're gaining weight because your, your, your throat chakra is off. That sends off signal from your, your thyroid. And you have thyroid issues. You have stomach pains. You have ulcers. Listen, everything connects. Everything connects. Where one thing happens, your whole entire body suffers. If one thing affects your body, your entire body struggles. We are one body. And if one finger is broken, the entire body feels it. If one, have you ever hurted your pinky finger? Finger that you don't use all the time, right? But then for the next three days, everything that you're going to pick up or touch you realize that your, pinky, that your pinky finger plays a big role in it? Like, sometimes you hurt your pinky finger and you don't even realize that you need it so much until you try to pick up something or a spoon or eat or write. You realize that your pinky finger is always there. And it's because everything works together. Everything works together. Everything works for one, for one purpose. Let me tell you this. If something in you, if you resent and I'm telling you this because you don't need to know how to stop resenting. You just need to stop resenting. Listen, these things are not hard to do. These things you got to be aware of. So whenever you feel resentment towards someone, you got to forgive them. Because they don't even know what they did. And sometimes, even if they did, that's their business. We cannot keep being around these people anyways. Sometimes, if you realize that you got to keep unforgiveness and keep hating and keep resentment, leave the damn person. Leave the environment. Why would you just want to stay in an environment that produces those things inside of you? Why would you want to be with a man or a woman that keep producing or keep enabling you to feel that way? Wouldn't you rather be with someone who enables you to feel inspired and motivated and loved? But yet, wait, I love you. No, it's not love. That is attached. That's not love, you know. That's attachment. Because you don't love what keeps beating you and hurting you and angers you and depresses you. That's not love. What comes out to you is not love. If... If something is abusing you, disrespecting you, making you feel wor I mean, worthless, making you feel sick and tired and draining, what you giving back cannot be love. It doesn't work. It doesn't connect. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Even in relationship where there's a toxic or a narcissist, what you feel for this person is, a, is an attachment. It's not love. The person manipulates you into staying. It's not love. It's manipulation. 
It's manipulation. Because you don't even know. You, because you don't recognize. You have lost yourself. So it's not love. You cannot love if you lost yourself. Because you are love. Understand this. You are love. If you lost yourself, it's not love that you have. You know what? Maybe I, I think I just went too far. Hold on. Let me say that again. If you're in a relationship where you lost yourself. Okay? If you have lost yourself in a relationship, what you are feeling is not love. Because if you lost yourself, what you just did is lost love. You cannot lose yourself and still have love. It's impossible. It is impossible to lose yourself and remain having love. It's impossible. It don't make sense. Somebody make it make sense. Make it make sense. It doesn't make sense. Because what you are is love. If you lose you, love is gone. Love, love, love accompanies it. Love is being gone. So therefore, when you're in a relationship and you don't recognize yourself anymore and you're still in the, with, a, with that person, your mind is tricking you and, t and, t and telling you it's love. It's not love. It, it, it cannot be love. Because love inspires. Love grows you. Love makes you feel beautiful. Love makes you become better. Love creates an environment of patience and kindness and happiness and joy. That's love. If you experience it, something else, it can't be love. I just, set some, I just set somebody free. I just set, some, I just set somebody free. I know it. Somebody is free. I'm telling you, that cannot be love. If you lost yourself, how can you have love? You don't know where you at. If you don't know where you at, how can you have love? What you have is fear. What you have is insecurities now. What you have is depression. What you have is anxiety. What you have is nothing. You don't have yourself. How can you have love? But yet we stay. We stay still, thinking that it gets better. It don't get better. Because once somebody... Have you ever lost respect for a man or a woman? Have you ever lost... Who say I'm single? <laughs> Who says I'm single? <laughs> but have you ever lost respect for a man or a woman though? Have you, ever, have you ever lost respect for a man or a woman? You see how hard it is to get it back? See, like, have you ever lost respect for a man? I, I know I have most women here. Have you ever lost respect for your man? I know you have. Let me ask you a question. Did you get it back? Did you get it back? Did you get it back, though? Did the respect build back? That respect is hard to come back. Listen, once you lose their respect, nothing gonna come back. It, 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 like, 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 when their respect is gone, you're like, man, shoot. Every time the person opens their mouth, you just, whatever. I mean, every time the person says something to do, you're like, man, you're crazy. Every, I mean, so imagine if somebody keeps walking over you. That means they don't respect you. And you're waiting for them to change. They don't respect you already. Why should they change? Because they lost respect for you. It doesn't come back. Listen, it works two ways. Because that person has to... Lose the respect for you to keep doing what they are doing. I want to lose the respect for you to continue doing their mess. They can't respect you again. But here you are waiting for them to change. They're not changing because the respect is gone. The respect is gone. It won't go ways. It's not just you lost respect for them. But if, how can you respect something that you walk on? How can you respect something that they wipe their foot on? How can, they re how can you respect something that just take and take and take and nothing to give? How can you just respect something that don't have no boundaries and don't have no self-respect and don't have any, you know, just, just take anything. Just take me as I am. Just, I could disrespect you and cuss you out and punch you and don't come home and disrespect you anyway. And you taking it because you feel like you have to. How can I respect that? Let's be real. That respect is going on both sides. That man can't respect you again. Point is pointless to wait. Pointless. It's pointless. It's gone. It's gone. It is gone. It is, it is over on both sides. But yet we're still there. And the longer we stay together, oh, the energy is building up, man. You come from work. You don't want to go inside the house. You stay in your car for like a good 15, 20 minutes. You, you got to take some deep breaths. To be able to walk in the house. Have you happened to you, bro? Ah, damn, I gotta, I gotta go to this damn person. Oh, gosh. I gotta go see this person again. That happens all the time. <laughs> that, that happens all the time. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh, I got, uh, I got ten percent. I got ten percent battery. So what happens? Sorry. If what, what about if you are married to this person? Listen, just because you're married to somebody, and this may sound really bad. You you keep calling me Hope Love. How you doing? What's up? Am I missing something? <laughs> yes, um, Hope Love. How are you? Let me tell you. People think if you're married to the monster, <laughs> that makes a difference. <laughs> Listen, whether you are married to the monster, whether you're not married to the monster, whether you are mad at the monster, hey Pamela, how are you? Whether the monster is your, is your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, left if it wasn't the friend, it would be hot, bro. Yeah. If the monster is your husband or wife, it don't make a difference. Because when, why, like, do you think your husband is worth, listen, Do you think your husband deserve you being hurt and angry and having illness and sickness for when you're building up all this resentment and if you, you're building this anger and it's causing you to get sick, you got prostate issues, you got heart attacks, you got stroke, your chest hurts, you got chest pains, stomach pains, head pains. Your husband ain't worth it. I don't care who, I don't, I don't care who it is. I don't, see, people always think, because what if I'm married to him? What if, so what? People get divorced all the time. People get divorced, listen, you cannot stay in toxic areas. You cannot stay in danger zones and expect not to be more broken. The reason why we are so broken is because we stay longer than what we should. We stay longer. The longer you stay in a broken area, is the longer you become broken. And you, the longer you, I don't care if they're husband and wife. I don't, I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. I don't care if, I don't care if it's the father of your mother of your child. I don't give a damn. But when the love is gone, and the respect is gone, and anger is there, and unforgiveness is there and resentment is there. You can't, if you stay there, you're hurting yourself. You, you, the longer you stay, the longer you hurt. The longer you suffer. I don't give a damn if it's married or not. Listen, listen, I'm going to tell you straight up. And I know some of you all ain't going to want to like this for what I'm going to say. I don't care. I don't, I don't know if you, you know what? I probably, you know what? Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Listen, some of us got married before we found ourselves. Some of us got married before we found ourselves. And we can't find ourselves because we are buried in a marriage that we can't find ourselves. See, this is why you can't get married before you find yourself. Listen, you can't get married before you know yourself. You can't get married before. See, before I find you, I have to find me. Because I cannot. If I find you before I find me, I don't know what I'm looking at. I can't. I don't know. I, don't, I can't recognize you. Seriously. Flojo, what's good? How are you doing? If. If I cannot find myself, how the hell can I find you? How can I recognize you when I can't recognize me? I just met you. You tell me, I just met you a year ago. And I, oh, but I've been with me for 10 years. I mean, I'm 40 years old and I don't recognize myself, but I think I recognize you. Come on, I can't recognize you. Because you recognize from the inside. You don't recognize from the outside. You cannot recognize someone from the outside. You can only recognize them from the inside. Let me tell you why. My phone about to die. I got like 7% left. So just if you cut off, no, I'm done. So as soon as it cut off, understand that I'm gone. I ain't coming back neither. I think I spoke enough. Because you have been wanting me to stay here for hours talking. I can't talk for that damn long. <laughs> you can only see someone from the inside. Seriously. That's why if you hurt, you, you, you always see pain. If you love, you see love. If you hurt, you see hurt. If you're a liar, you think everybody's lying to you. If you're a thief, you can't trust no one. You know what I mean? Like, like, like seriously, whatever you see is coming from the inside. So, so, so what I'm telling you, right, is this right here. I have lost myself. I need to find myself because this person has made a difference. Here's the thing. Let, let me, let, let me, let me retract. Let me, let me tell you a sad truth, okay? Let me tell you a sad truth. Thank you, 11. Let me tell you a sad truth, okay? You ready for the sad truth? Oh, my God. It's gonna give you the shivers. <laughs> you don't need to find yourself. You're right there. You, know, you, you, you ain't got to look for yourself. You're right there. You, you got to accept where you're at. That's the question. See, you don't have to look for yourself. You just don't wanna believe what you're looking at. <laughs> See, many of us don't wanna believe and, and accept what we're looking at. You are a mess. <laughs> That's what you are. A mess. You 
you are, it's like a, it's like a child pooped in her bed. And you see in the mess, you cannot, that's the mess, the, the mess is right. Oh, shoot. See, to find yourself, you got to plug in that destination of where you want to go. But the first thing that the, de that the GPS says is you are here. You know where you're at. You just don't like where you're at. Seriously. The GPS. Hey, Chrome Goddess, you came on over when about to finish. The GPS says before it leads you to the, de to the destination, you are here. Listen. When you recognize where you're at, I hate don't like myself I'm ugly be honest it's okay you have to be honest first I hate myself I'm not I don't trust people I don't this oh my god I don't feel good I don't oh, I don't feel that I got headaches I overthink I think on everything oh my god what's going on this is where you're at you are here right here and it's okay it's okay do not deny that you are right there you got to accept I always yell. You got to accept where you're at. And then when you accept where you're at, let me work on one at a time. Let me forgive. I, one of the first things that I will, I will tell you to do is to forgive. I don't want to plug my phone in. My God, I don't want to plug my phone in. But if I leave you right now, I think it's going to be, uh, uh, it's going to be bad. If I leave you right now saying this, I think it's going to be bad. I should plug my phone in, huh? Oh my god. <clears throat> um listen. <sighs> Let me plug this. Let me plug my hobby. I guess I'll do ten more minutes. <sighs> Where's my charger? Do I have a charger? I, I really don't want to stay longer either. <laughs> I, really, I think I'm done talking you. But yeah, so now, when you realize where you're at, that's when you can start working. Because you cannot work and change and fix what you don't know is broken. And you got to be honest, man. Listen, one of the part, I was, telling, I was telling somebody just the other day, especially on the journey of enlightenment, I mean, enlightenment. When I went through my journey, I had to break down all my walls. You know how many walls you have built up right now? You know how many walls the average person have built up? You got so much walls around your heart. You got so much walls. I hope it's charging. Because if it's not charging, is it charging? I don't even know if it's charging. But, um, <laughs> I know, right? Dope. <laughs> is that dope ass mom? <laughs> um, I totally forgot what I was saying. Y'all make me lose my, you gotta be on TikTok. <laughs> no, I'm not. You have to accept the truth. Yeah, you have to accept the truth be before you fix it. But you, but you gotta be honest. I remember when I was when I was going through. Yes, I was saying we have so many walls built up, man. Ball, yes, we got pay attention. We got so many walls built up. So many walls are built up. We got walls. We don't trust this person. I don't. I don't know. Uh, 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 no, I ain't in love again. Oh no, 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 no. I ain't easy no more. Oh, you know what? I don't, I'm not gonna be nice. I'm, I'm not gonna be kind. I'm not gonna take no compliments. I'm not gonna do this. We got so many walls built up. And it's very, very, and you're not broken. You, you just, you're not broken. Nobody's broken. We, we don't break. We bend, but we don't break. Don't, don't say you're broken. Remember, whenever you say that you're broken, whenever you, listen, when you, when your heart, when your conscious mind or your subconscious mind say that you're broken, it, it keeps you being that place and that position. Remember, if you say I'm broken, remember, whatever you speak on, your, the subconscious power that you are creates proof of what you speak. Okay? It creates proof of what you speak. If you say I am sick, you will be sick because it will create proof of what you are saying. That's why you got to be careful of your words that you use or even what, what you think. If you say, I am broke, I am poor, it creates proof of you being poor. Remember, all this does, it creates all you, you know, listen, you are a creator. And your words create proof of your thoughts. It creates a physical existence. So you got to stop, stop saying that, that you need healing. Say that you heal. Speak. From a place of your desired outcome. I am healed. And when you keep speaking about you being healed, you're going to second think about everything that you do. See, listen, if I walk around saying, I am perfect, 
I am good enough. I am great. Now, when you're doing something, think about those same affirmations. I am whole. Would a whole person make this? Listen, listen to what I'm saying because I don't think you are getting it. How do you think I make my decisions? I got to keep repeating to myself in my mind, I am a whole person. If I am whole, I can't give myself away to people who don't even respect me. So I got to keep saying, I am whole. Listen, you, you think it's easy? Man, listen, this, this don't get any easier, but you just get used to it. It doesn't get easier. You just get used to it. This is not easy. Because it's a, it's a daily it's a daily fight and a daily walk and daily choices and daily decisions. You have to make moments, every moment that account. This is not an easy thing because you have been programmed to go against what you really desire in life. You have been programmed to go against. You have been programmed to go against what the, the food that you need to eat. You have been programmed to go against the people that you should be attracted to. You have been programmed to be you know, angry and all this stuff and bitter and hateful and insecure. You have been programmed to do that. So now it has to be a daily reminder and a daily choice. You, 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 you have to, it has to become a daily practice. This is not just something that you just do and just say, okay, I'm good now. No, no. Healing is a daily walk. And every time you're about to fall back in that garbage, that with that person that broke you, you got to say, I am whole. And if I'm whole, it creates in you a dialogue. If I am whole, would I do this? Seriously. It creates in you a dialogue inside your mind. If I'm whole, am I doing this? But if I do this, that means I'm not whole. That means I'm craving. I'm still craving validation. I'm still craving this. I'm still, you know what? Nope. I am whole. You got to speak to yourself. Yeah, man. I'm <laughs> write it down. Post it. Put it on your phone. Reminder. Every hour. I am whole. Comes up. Bing. I am whole. Because you have to do whatever it takes. And sometimes you got to trick yourself into believing what you're saying is true. Because right now you don't believe it. You, you say it one time, you're like, yeah, whatever. That's, that, that's not true. But before you run back to the place that hurt you, that man or that woman, before you do that crap again in your life, before you become, you got to, I am whole. Would a whole person do this? I'm telling you, you got to start creating a healthy dialogue in your mind instead of answering or asking yourself stupid questions. Why am I so fat? Why am I so stupid? Why am I so selfish? Why? Stop asking those ridiculous questions and ask a better question. Am I whole? You are. But if I'm whole, would I do this? No. You, no. Therefore, I can't do it. But then it's a daily practice. It's a daily practice. So part of healing is to create a dialogue in your mind. Is every decision that you make has to play a role. This is what consciousness is. Being conscious of your decision. Being conscious of your words. Being conscious of your self-talk. You know if you are conscious, you won't be in crazy relationships? Seriously. You cannot be conscious. What do you mean, Kurt? You cannot be conscious and be in a relationship that don't benefit you. Let me say that again because I don't think God believe me. You cannot be conscious and be and staying in crappy areas and doing crappy things because when you are conscious, you are fully aware of your energy at all times. How do you deal with a person who consist, who consist, who constantly lies even when you have proven their behaviors? You don't have to prove anybody's behavior. You don't deal with those people. I don't know why you are dealing with them for. You don't. People ask, how do you deal with a narcissist? You don't. How do you deal with a liar? You don't. How do you deal with somebody who kills? You don't. I, I, I mean, as long as they're, in your, they're not in your house, you don't. How do you deal with somebody who hitting you? You don't. How do you deal with somebody who, who keep betraying you? You don't. You don't have to, but you're choosing to. So it's like finding peace in a danger zone. You cannot, it's very hard to find. Again, I did not go to Iraq looking for peace. When, when I was in the military and I was sent to Iraq for combat, I didn't go there looking for peace. I went there with a gun. Because I was going to a danger zone. So I was there with guns. I was there with, with, a, with, a, with grenades. I was there with a whole bunch of crap that would fight. Okay? It was a danger zone. You cannot find peace in those areas. So when, when you ask me, how do you deal with someone who does that? You, I, don't, I, I don't know. I don't deal with them things. For what? I can't. I choose not to. You, you, you show me the lifestyle. Listen, I'm... I'm quick to, uh, trust me, anybody who knows me know I'm quick to walk away because I cannot. I, I, 
When you are conscious, you are fully aware of your energy. And when your energy starts to get pulled, you can't take it. It's not worth it. Because you understand when you are conscious that your energy is your manifestation power. Your energy is your creation power. Your energy is your peace. Your energy is, 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 your, is your life. Your energy is you. It's literally you. So when you keep giving your, yourself away to places and people who doesn't deserve that, man, you die. You die. No. You can't, you can't stand it. I don't care. Listen. How do you deal with them people? I don't deal with them. I, I really don't. If you bring one ounce of drama to my life, listen, I will love you. I, and, and I don't hold any... Man. I don't hold any negative vibes either. I mean, I literally don't hold no bad vibes and no, no bad um, feelings to anyone. But when I walk, I'm free. I, I, just, I, I just can't. A conscious person is aware of their energy at all times. And whatever is putting them to go somewhere else that they don't want to go, they have to release it. You got to make big boy decisions and big girl decisions. You're an adult now. It's time to make adult decisions. You can't just go from what feels good. It's not about what feels good. It's what does you better. Montrese, how are you doing, darling? How are you doing? I'm great. Thank you for joining. But seriously. Shoot, bump that. You know, some of us, uh, you can't go by what feels good no more. It's all about what be what's better for you. I'm woke, woke. <laughs> I'm, so I'm just saying, man. But let me tell you, though, like I was saying earlier. When you start realizing that you're seeing everything as ugly, you're seeing men as ugly, you're seeing women as ugly, you're seeing men as players and dogs and all that stuff. I know you've been hurt, but you, gotta, you cannot view and find love when you are hurt. Because... You, you, will not create, you will not connect to a liar and a hater and an ugly person and this person. You cannot. The whole point of love is to connect. People think love is so... People think love is such a difficult thing to do. You know? People think love is such a difficult thing to do. Which quote, um, Nisha? Which quote is that? Am I frozen? Am I frozen? Need to get to a better. Am I frozen? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Good, good, good. Um, what was I saying? I forget what I was saying again. You know, you want, you want to know I keep forgetting what what I'm saying, right? Okay, good. I'm not frozen. I got it. I forget what was I saying. Where was I? <laughs> some of y'all paying attention, huh? Some of y'all, some of us are, are still hurt, man. Like for real. Listen, I pray, I pray that you, um, I pray that you, you find healing. And some of us think that love is so deep and love is so hard and love, loving yourself is so hard. Loving yourself, if, if you look at, if you see yourself, love is not difficult, good. If you see yourself as a body, then love is hard because you're going to see flaws, you're going to see cigarette burns, you're going to see scars and you're going to see stretch marks. You're going to see a little fat there and a little this here and a little that there. You're going to see a little boogers in your eyes. You're going to see a big nose sometimes. You're going to see your hair is kind of hard. You, you're going bald. You're getting bald spots. You're going to see your eye, one of them smaller than the other. You know what I mean? You, you're going to see um, your nose is getting stuffy and your lips is getting just, your lips is getting thin. You're going to see your teeth getting rot. And if you pay attention to that, love is very hard. Love becomes very hard to do. Because you, because you fight those things. You fight. You resist those changes. So therefore, when you resist, love, love is very hard. See, love don't resist anything. You think about love, it's so easy. It's that, this right here. That tree outside, how can I love that tree? How can I love that tree? So, but Kirk, how do you love the ants? And people ask these questions, right? People ask the question, Kirk, how do you love the ants? I mean, you keep saying love, Right? You keep saying love. Like, how do you love everyone? How do you love everyone? When Christ say, when Christ says, I leave you with this one commandment, love your neighbor as you love yourself, it went over everybody's head. But I don't love myself. Why do I love them? They are stinking people. They are terrible. I have a better understanding. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm glad it's daytime. How do you love? And let me tell you the secret for love. You want, you want to know the secret for love? I'm about to make this the simplest thing I have 
ever said in my life. I'm, I'm going to make this so simple. Everybody want to difficult this. Love is what you make it. No. Love is just, love is, no. Love, to be honest, is the simplest thing. Do you recommend telling your partner about your past relationship experience? Do I want to know? I don't, I don't really care to know about my partner's past. I mean, if she want to tell me, yeah. And I don't have any shame with mine. I don't, I don't have any shame with my past. So for me to tell you my past, I'm like, hey, I was with this big booty girl and she was putting it on me like this. And I was saying, eh, no, nah, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. But I mean, that, that, that depends on the, the growth that you, um, that you, you know, that depends on your growth. Some people can't take it. Some people get jealous. I don't know why. You, some, some people just petty. So you got to be careful when you, <laughs> you are not joking, right? You know, I'm not talking about the crap. <laughs> Stay focused. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, past is past. I mean, some is important. Like, why are you always tripping? Well, because this person hurt me. Oh, I understand now. You know what I mean? Hey, you all know. Let me tell you something, right? I have a gift of gab. I could speak life, but I could speak funny things too. So don't just look at me one way and take me one way. I let people just think I'm just one person specifically. I just speak love. No, I speak on everything. I speak on sex. I speak on life. I speak on love. I speak on money. I speak on finances. I speak on. Dead people, plants, universe, space, astrology, astronomy, numbers, Deuteronomy. I speak on every, sh the Bible, I speak on everything. I don't speak politics though. I don't want you all thinking I'm one way. Because I am, I am a whole bunch of ways. I'm just very open to, the, to everything. You can't just be, every, you can't be just one thing. You, I, I have to be everything. And if I can't be everything, then I, I don't want to talk. It sucks. I don't know how people are just one way. For what? That's boring. That's the gift. Of, yeah. But, and when you have the gift of gab, you can speak on anything and, and people listen. People are like, what's next? But anyway, so what I was saying is right. Lord have mercy. I forgot again. Versatile, right? <laughs> How do you love others? How do you love others and think? See, you knew I was going to ask this question. You, <laughs> she wasn't ready for this one. Okay. So how do you love? The secret to love and to loving everyone and to loving everything, when the Bible says you gotta love every life, it's not about just human life. Understand this. Human is not the only life form. There's plant forms, there's animal life, there's plant life, there's trees life, there's bacteria life, there's everything. It's not just human. See, we think this universe is human focused, human centered. It's not. It's not human centered. It's everything's we are, we are all one. Every time you eat a cow, you, you, the whole universe changes. Every time you, somebody dies, everything changes because they have to find balance. Every time something happens, the entire universe changes because everything is one. So here's the, pro here's the key to love. You got to able to recognize that the tree outside is you too. Hey, what, hey see how deep that is? But you just went over your head. What? That tree is you. What the hell are you? Kirk, back to what you were saying. That's what I'm saying. You have to understand the fact that that tree is you. When Christ said that you have to love everyone as yourself, it's because everyone is yourself. We are all one. But the thing is, love is only connecting. See, when you connect, whatever you connect to, the downloads start to flow. See, we think love is so deep. No, it's about connection. If you can't connect, you can't love. There's no love without connection. You can love, how do you love the horizon? How do you love the, the, the stars in the sky? How do you love that uh, the sunrise or the sunset? You connect to it. And it becomes beautiful. So when you connect to it, you find its beauty. See, if you are afraid of it, then you don't connect to it. And then you become afraid of it. Understand this right here. Understand this, what I just said. Hear what I just said. If you don't connect to it, you will pick up a different frequency against it. You will actually become afraid of it. You will become questionable. You will become, uh. but when you connect to it is when you see the beauty. That's what you look for, the beauty. When you see the beauty and you connect to it, you have to love it because you recognize that everything is you. Everything is an extension of you. Everything that you see is you. Every person you see is you. How can you love you and not love him? How can you love him and not the other one? You have, because everything is you. So if you can't love them and you can't love that and you can't love it and a dog and a cat, then you have no love. See, the love is what you have. It's not what, listen, love is what you have. And if you have it, you become it. And if you become it, you can't just, you can't be, is it that you kind or you're not kind? You can't just 
choose if you're kind if you are kind hearted then you are kind to everything you are kind to the tree yeah you are kind to the animals that that that, that that's a kind of heart you kind to the animals. You kind to things that has no power over you. You kind to things that don't even, that can't give you nothing back in return. You kind, period. If you love, you love, period, too. Think about it. It's all love. Th think about it now. Like, like, seriously, think about it. So, loving is just connecting, re just recognizing that that's, that's me. How can I not love me? Yeah, he might be a little rude, but I used to be rude. But So, that's me at a, at a different that, that's me at a different stage of my life. See, everybody that you meet is not going to be you at this time where you're at. Some people, the you that you see in them is the you that you try to hide that when they're brave enough to bring it out, you hate them. You recognize yourself in them. You recognize yourself in everyone. You have to. That's the, that's this, listen, that's the secret. When Christ said, love your neighbors as you love yourself. What? How? That's you. If you see, if you pass a man on the street, Christ said it might be you just passed your creator in a disguise. That's, that's you. How can you help one and not the other? That's you. You're passing yourself straight. You are disrespecting yourself. That's why everything you do come back to you. Everything that you do to others come back to you. Why? Why? Because that's you. That's you. Reflection. That's you. Everything you ever heard you speak to somebody, it comes back to you. Because you're speaking to yourself. It's you you're speaking to. Every word you use against someone is you. And every word that you use for someone of love is you. It comes back to you. So therefore, that is you. It's, you are one. So how do you love? How do you have love? You realize that everything is you. Everything is from the same hands. Okay? Seriously, if, if the hands of your creator created the tree outside and it created you, then that life in the tree has to be the same life in you. Yeah. Is it say, if the same hands that created it, then it has to have value. How can you have value but that don't have value? You recognize this by understanding this. You have to go deeper now. It's time to go deeper. We're older. If the, if the hands that created you is powerful hands, as you think, God, most powerful being, if that hand created that tree, that tree must have a purpose. And it must have the same thing that you have. It must have the same breath. And it must have the same energy. That means that must be as strong as you. It has to be powerful. So how do you love? It's a little deep. <laughs> How do you love? You connect to God's creation. When you connect to God's creation, it gives you power. Because everything he created, it gives you life. Listen, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. What, Kurt? What? 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 The sun gives you life. The trees give you oxygen. The water. Listen, everything that was created, that animals give you food. The fruits give you food. Everything that was created gives you life. I promise you, boo-boo, everything. So now when you connect to it, it brings you life. <sighs> so understanding why you love is what makes you love even more. So now you, could, now you would be aware of when you meet something or someone. It makes you aware. This is what consciousness is. It makes you aware. Like give it life, giving life. It gives you life. It, Awareness is how you love. Awareness. Being aware, that's me right there. How can I treat you badly? How can I hate you? How can I disrespect you? I know you're having a bad day. It's okay. Even Christ said, forgive them for they not know what they do. Because everybody don't, believe, everybody don't know that I am you and you are me. So they will treat you bad, but you know better. You know that's you. They will disrespect you, but you know better. They will hate you, but you... See, Christ knew better. Christ knew better. See, the Christ who walked here, if you believe he walked here, if you believe Christ was a man, the Christ who walked here, he knew better. 
So when he see people talking about him, disrespecting him, beating him, he carrying a 300 pound cross on his back, he knew better. And just because I know better, I will not fall to your nonsense. So you love anyway. You forgive them anyway. Because when you forgive them, you forgive yourself. That's why the Bible says, forgive, forgive me of my trespasses of, as I, as you forgive. What did, what did it say? <laughs> What does it say again? Forgive. What, is the, what does our Father's prayer say? See, sometimes I got some stuff in my mind. I can't pick one. Forgive them of their trespasses as I forgive. As you. Somebody help me out, please. Somebody help me out. What does our Father's prayer say? Forgive. Forgive me as I forgive those who trespasses against me. Is that what it says? <laughs> who trespasses against us I'm telling you because everything is one everything is one big circle so therefore I have to be you and you have to be me you have to forgive man forgiveness is, is yours forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us yes it has to work in one because we are all connected it's a one energy if I forgive, you you got to forgive. If I forgive you, that's how it works. You got to be the bigger person. And even though you know they hate you and they dislike you and they don't want to help you, and they don't, you are still. You don't change because of them. Let them change because of you. Because you know better. You are the light. The Bible says you are the light. Don't you know that? You are the light. Let it shine. Listen, the darkness shouldn't affect your light. I know it's hard. Forgive me my trespasses and forgive those who trespass against us. Thank you so much. That's right. But it's time. It is time that we stop the silly nonsense that we're having. If you want to heal, you got to learn to forgive. And you forgive because you're forgiving yourself. What if you forgive but can't let go? You can't let go, but you just... If you say that you can, then you can't. Remember, whatever you say is what you're going to do. If you say you can't let go, then you can't let go. But the thing is, what can't you let go of is the question. What can't you let go of? See, Nisha, it's hard when you don't understand the behind scenes. If you understand, if I forgive you, I drop that thing off my shoulder. Therefore, I could connect to God. I could stay connected to God. If you understand that, it's the very importance of forgiveness is that I don't carry no burden. When you understand that, it's what that makes me, al that allows me, because my spirit begins to be free. See, if I don't forgive, my spirit needs to be free, but it can't. It's enslaved. It can't travel. It can't reach the creator. It's suffering. It's sick. It's created in me sickness. My spirit is suffering. But if I forgive, my spirit is free to roam and do what it do. So therefore, me understanding that is what causes me to forgive. I have to forgive. How do you forgive even without receiving an apology? Because you don't need an apology to forgive. You have an understanding of forgiveness. See, again... If you wait for closure, if you wait for an apology, you sometimes you're going to wait forever. So what do you do? Carry that forever with you? No. Because it hurts you. It hurts you. That thing that you're carrying is, remember, you are the one carrying it and you are the one is draining. You are the one who is tired of carrying it. You are the one is hurting. You are the one who is tired. It's you. You are the one who is actually feeling the pain. That person that you haven't forgiven he not feeling no pain. He is perfectly fine doing what he do or doing what she do, living their life of happiness and joy and peace, doing their thing because they probably forgive themselves. It's you. You hurting yourself. You're the one who can't manifest. You're the one who can't grow. You're the one who can't break free. You're the one who cannot progress. You're the one who cannot evolve. It's you. <laughs> I'll be preaching. <laughs> but seriously, it's you. It is you, it is you, it is you. Listen, man, we've been hearing these things for all our lives. Forgive them. I forget the verse again. Forgive me of my trespasses as I forgive those who have trespassed against me. We've been hearing this all. I remember my mom used to, at nighttime, she used to let us all go on our knees around the bed, around her bed, and we used to have to say that prayer every single night. And, you know, you hear that every night. But it still, don't, it still does not sink in. It's a reason why you do it. You do it to set yourself free. You do to set the person free. You got to set people free. Because if you don't set them free, you're carrying them people. And they're heavy. You don't have enough to sustain you and them. You have enough for you. 
but you still want to carry them and, and, and the other person who hurt you and the person who molested you, you carry like 10 people on your shoulder right now. That's why you cannot go far. That's why you are struggling. That's why you can't be successful at your job. That's why you can't go to school. That's why you can't be fit. That's why you can't lose weight. That's why you are tired because you are drained because you carry in 10 people in your spirit. Your spirit is not meant to carry that much heavy load. It's crying out, Father, help me. But your father can't hear you because the people that you're carrying is in your spirit saying, no, I got her. I got him. No, I'm good. No, I'm good. Because you're holding on to everyone who have done you wrong. And these people have already set themselves free. But you're still holding on to their sickness. You're still holding on to their pain. No, you're feeling the symptoms of their sickness. You're carrying every symptom that they are sick with. For real. So it's time to set yourself free. It's not worth it. It's not. So how do you forgive? You realize that it's not worth it. So how do you forgive if they, even if they didn't apologize? You don't wait for an apology anyways. They don't wait for an apology. What you waiting for? What you waiting for an apology for? The apology don't make you feel better. I mean, to be honest. The apology don't change you. The apology really don't do anything for you. It might make them feel better because they say... It's like I tell my daughter, say sorry. Sorry, daddy. But she really sorry. She's not sorry. Because she don't even know what she did. She doesn't even know what she did sometimes. Say sorry. Sorry, daddy. She has no idea what she done to me. So, okay. I forgive you anyways. Do you wait for an apology from your kids before you forgive them? I mean, seriously. Think about it. Do you wait for an apology from your kids when they are five and six years old and tw or 20? Do you wait for... No, you forgive them because you love them to death. They're your babies. No matter what age they get, they're your babies. And if you have kids, you understand what I'm saying. My son said the dumbest things to me sometimes. My son told me today that he, that he didn't miss me. I don't even know if he meant it or not, but I could care less. I still miss him. Don't change anything. I don't feel bad. He's six. <laughs> He's gone. He's gone to New York. And he, I don't miss you, daddy. Okay. Hey, because I'm, I'm strict on you. Of course you don't miss me. Kids, kids don't know any better. But you know what, though? To be honest, a lot of adults don't know any better. A lot of adults don't know a damn thing, to be honest with you. A lot of adults don't know any better. So they do stupid things. Because if you know better, you will do better. They just give me my peace. I'm telling you. If you wait for an apology, you will never find peace. You won't, you won't find peace because sometimes people will never apologize. People will never give you cl closure. Somebody asked me the other day, how do I find closure? You don't find closure. You find your purpose. To hell with closure, find your purpose. Give your own self closure. Say, hey, listen, I did my best. Sometimes you've got to speak to yourself. I did my best, man. Listen, this is when you have to have a self-talk. Hey, shoot, I, hey, I did my best. That person didn't see me. That person didn't recognize my worth or my value. Or I was not for this person. This person wants someone else. It is okay. You are allowed to want other people. You are allowed to want other people. It's your life. I can't be mad that you didn't choose me. Listen, I choose who I choose. You choose who you choose. Everybody who I choose don't choose me. And everybody who, who, who you choose don't choose you. That's perfectly fine. So you have to be able to have to talk to yourself. Hey, listen. Okay, I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I should have known better. Yes. I should have listened to my red flags. I should You know what? I seen them red flags. I seen them red flags. Damn it. I didn't trust it. I thought that he or she would have changed. You know what? Got it. Next time. The lesson becomes important. So when I see this next time, I'll, I'll pay attention. Focus on the lesson. See, if you focus on what the action instead of the lesson, you lose. Listen, life is all about lessons. Who has a pain in their left, in their left forehead? I think uh, somebody is just frustrated right now. Somebody is going through something. You have a pain in your left forehead? Who, who has a headache? Anybody have a headache in the left part of their brain? Oh, head? Who has a headache? <laughs> Where you all have headaches? They all just send me your headaches too. It's right here in my side of my damn head. You know, I just give the crap to me. Every time I do this and I go deep and I go with this spiritual stuff, you all give me all stuff. Why do you have a headache? <laughs> why? Why? <laughs> why? Why? Why do you? Why you have a headache? Yeah, I ate. <laughs> I ate. I ate one time today. You have sunburn. <laughs> Listen. 
<laughs> stress. Y'all gotta stop with that with that stress stuff too, man. Like you are like you are gonna stop that stress stuff too. Earl Clark, what's good, man? How you doing, brother? Maybe you have a low blood sugar. Nah, my my blood sugar ain't low. Take a, oh, I don't really take drugs. You need the mango. <laughs> I probably need a mango for real. I have two left in my kitchen. I'm gonna get some, get some today. But yeah, um, so I don't get headaches. Um, when people transmit their pains to me is, is when I feel it. I, I don't have no stress in my life or no issues or drama. So I don't have no illnesses. I don't, I don't take on anything. Remember, I practice. So, so listen, there's something that I do. It's called the art of detachment. I practice detachment. I practice complete detachment. And I don't, I detach very quickly. Because I realize I do not need certain things. I don't have to miss them. I mean, whether I miss you or not, I detach. Because I know for a fact, if I stay connected, that download is going to keep happening. See, listen, when you connect to people, right? What you, don't, what you don't know is this right here. When you connect to people, what you don't know or what you, don't, what you fail to understand that when you connect to all these toxic people, what happens is that the connection opens up portals for travel. So information and things continue to travel and download and upload. So they are traveling from them to you and you to them. And it's a constant download and upload. Okay. So that's what the connection does. It's like a, it's like a hotspot or, or a Wi-Fi. When you are connected, information is downloaded from it or from the connection to you. So it's a constant upload and download. So when you are connected to people who are toxic and negative and disruptive in your life, that download continue to actually be in your spirit. Even if you are miles away, the download do not stop. Distance do not stop the, the connection. Once you are connected, it's a spirit. See, connections are spiritual. Okay? Connections are spiritual. When you are spiritually connected... There's always a download and upload continuously. Sometimes you got to cut the connection off. If you want to stop feeling what you feel, cut the connection off. If you want to stop seeing what you see, cut the connection off. You got to cut connection. I know the next question is going to be, how do I cut connection? <sighs> I keep talking myself into... These questions, huh? <laughs> All right. I think I'm almost done talking. I think you got my point, right? Thoughts carry presence. Yes. In my country, we say you will know the remedy is because you had this sickness before. Mm -hmm. That's facts. Tell me, tell me what medicine to you. <laughs> you cannot company with evil, wicked people expecting to get the results of love. Facts. Facts, facts, facts. Thanks, Megan. But yeah, so you, 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 you have to cut the connection. And to cut the connection, sometimes you got to stop. Listen, sometimes you got to stop communication. See, some of you all want to keep talking to them. Thank you so much, um, Ellen. Sometimes you want to keep talking to them. You, you want to keep entertaining them. Sometimes you got to stop. You just cut, cut it off. You know, don't feel bad. You know, one, you know what? One of the last things I want to talk about. One, one, one last, I left one thing. I was saying those self-talks become handy. You got to talk to yourself. So for, so for, clear, for closure, okay? For closure. <laughs> I know what's coming. For closure sometimes when you don't have closure. Because some of us wait for closure from the person for years. We wait for closure. We wait and we wait and we wait for closure. Closure ain't coming. So some of us still sick. Some of us are still scared. Some of us are still insecure. Some of us are still panicking. Some of us are still miserable. Waiting for closure. They ain't moving on with their life. They don't want to go to somebody else. Waiting for closure. Just waiting, 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 waiting. Let me tell you, sometimes you have to give yourself closure. Listen, I did my best. I did it. I knew that, you know what? I had a feeling that my gut feeling told me better. I should have known better, but I didn't. So my first step is to forgive myself. Hey, I'll, I forgive you, my beautiful, loving. Listen, speak to yourself nicely. Just, oh, you loving, beautiful, kind, strong, wise creation of God and God's image. I forgive you. I forgive me. I know I knew better, but I forgive me. Because now I know. It's okay. I forgive me. I forgive me. I must forgive me. It's time to move on. 
I will not fall victim to this again. I learned my lesson. See, my lesson was the most important part. I got my lesson. Trust my intuition. I got it. I got it now. I got my lesson. I'm ready. Oh, let's go. But you got to speak to yourself better. Don't beat yourself down. You can't, don't you, if you don't beat your kids down. See, beating your kids down creates animosity. It creates a whole bunch of toxic behaviors. It creates narcissistic traits. It creates toxicity. It creates a whole bunch of trouble and anger. Don't beat yourself down. Love yourself up. Oh my God. I know, I know, I know. He, he's gone. She's gone. But I'm still here. I'm still here. Hey, you know when you are still here, that means you won. I don't think, listen, Lord, people try to, listen, people, <laughs> listen, man. People will, people will try to take you away from yourself. Lord, have mercy. People will come to you and try to hurt you to the point of you not recognize, like, Oh, I don't even recognize. You ever seen an accident, a car accident, where they, where like, where nothing is left from me? Like, you can't even tell who the person is anymore. I'm telling you, people will let, people will beat you emotionally so that you could have no. Oh. <laughs> but, listen. But let me tell you this. Thanks, Jinx. Let me tell you this, right? Sometimes when things go back together, they become even stronger. Seriously, Emotion, emotionally disoriented. Yeah. Thank you. When things go back, hey, Jay, how are you? When things go back together, sometimes they're even stronger because it's a stronger glue. Because now you learn your lesson. Focus on the lesson, not the feeling. Lesson. Focus. If you focus on the lesson, you'll get farther. Life is going to become your friend. The universe is going to rejoice with you. Focus on the lesson. Focus on the lesson. The power is in the lesson. I'm doing good too. You know what? I have, hold on, I have one more thing. I didn't even. Oh. I, got, well, I, got, I got one more shirt. It's a size large, a large female. Self love. Who is a large? Black. Self love. If I haven't given you before, self love. He has the word self love, it has the pronunciation. Self-love. 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 And it has the meaning. Regard for one's own... I can't read backwards. Well-being and happiness. Regard. Listen to, listen to what it means. Regards for one's own well-being and happiness. You are in charge of your well-being and your happiness. That, that, that's it. Nobody should have power over that. But it comes from inside. Thank you so much, Montrees. So who is it again? Who, who is the large one? Remember, the person I choose, inbox me your address so I can send it tomorrow. Small. No, this is a large. I only have a large left. Who is this person? You, you love this surgery? Jay, what size you wear? <laughs> Catch me. Who's, who's a large? I love this shirt, man. Listen, I love this shirt. See, I'm wearing it. Self-love. This is my self-love shirt. Uh, and somebody's getting this one off my back. I'm not washing it. I might sweat. It might be a little sweaty too because I think I sweat while I was talking. But it still smells good. And I'm not washing it. So the person who was getting this one, I hope you're still there. I'm not washing it. You're going to have my body order on you. And you're going to smell my cologne. But you're going to feel my energy when you put it on. You're going to be like, oh my God. Kirk feet is amazing. I, I wasn't even looking. I wasn't even looking. My God. I love oversized clothing. <laughs> My motto, self-love is the best love until I'm already one proven and deserve to share it. Yes. Listen, man. You love the green? The green is already given to someone. You love that shirt? Malina? Let me see. Uh, Jay, did Jay get answer me? Oh, Jay, we're small. Okay, well, Jay, I'm sorry. Let me see who from Jail to Ellen. I think Ellen was the second one. 
Ellen, go ahead and inbox me your um go ahead and inbox me your your um you know what I mean. Your your address and your full name. So the ones who I chose to give those shirts and these thingies, go ahead and inbox me. And I have one more tiger eye bracelet. And I want you, I want to put some energy into this bracelet. I want to put some energy into this bracelet. It's the chakra bracelet to align your chakra. It's actually the tiger eyes. I want to put some energy into it. So um, if you love God first, does not mean that you self-love. Well, um, can I have... Sean, Shanice, you mean this right here? Shanice, are you talking about this right here? <laughs> Ra, um, what's her name? Ra, she, Gina. I got you one. Where, where's she, Gina? Hey, remember, these are on my website. Okay? These are on my website. These are on my website. If you go on my website, you find a whole bunch of stuff. Goodies. I have a lot of goodies on my website. All right? You know, I'm supporting you all, so you, you are going to support me too. Shanice, go ahead and inbox me since you were first. Go ahead and inbox me your address, okay? I'm not Jamaican. Go ahead, go ahead and inbox me your address, Shanice. All right, so listen. Listen, 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 listen. Which one? This one? You know what? You are smart, huh? Soul. Soulable. Soulable, how long you been following me? Just curious. So lovable. Oh, so lovable. So, so lovable. How long have you been following me? Depending on your answer, is depending on what I say next. I have a couple extra, extra small shirts. So you could, you could inbox me for, for extra small shirts, okay? But I don't have it on my website because I don't really buy extra, because people don't really buy where I'm wearing. The chakra bracelet. What is my diet? I don't eat meat. I'm plant-based. I eat when I want to eat. I eat whatever I eat, but I don't, I'm, I'm more plant, I, 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 I plant-based. Which one do you recommend? Which, I mean, I have many types of bracelets. I have, um, you want to see this watch? <laughs> so this watch, these, these watches just came in, right? I just got these watches. It says Gucci. I know it's not Gucci, but I ordered these and they came in. And it says, I love it because I love the color of it and it's light. But it says Gucci on it. I'm like, should I post this on my, um, okay, Jinx, go ahead and inbox me your size, okay, and tell me which one you want. So I'm like, man, should I sell these? Because I have a good bit of these. I'm like, oh, I should sell these Gucci watches, but I don't think it's Gucci. I, don't, I know it's not real because I, I didn't buy them for a high price. <laughs> but, um, I sell these, these, um, <laughs> but if you all want one, let me know. And I sell these too, these um, Scorpios and all these um, bracelets. See how mine is Scorpio? Right here. But I sell, I sell all the Zodiac signs. Okay. So I sell, I sell all of these too. <laughs> Wait, so who was saying that they like my bracelet on my amp? The one that I'm wearing. Who was saying that they like my bracelet on which one? Which one do I recommend? That, that, that really depends on you. I have a whole, I have a lot, so I can't really say which one I recommend. It, it depends on which one or what you want exactly. Or you, you, you could just inbox me and then we, we could talk about it there. Who was saying that they like the bracelet on my hand? It was so, so lovable. Which one do you like? Because I was going to give it to you. I will mail it tomorrow, um, Chrome Goddess. I'm, I'm mailing it tomorrow. Yes, everything that you see me wear is on my website. Everything. I want to wear my stuff. I want to wear my brand. I want to wear my brand. I want to wear my jewelry. I want to wear my beads and my necklaces. I don't wear nobody else. Which? This one right here? Ooh. You know, this have the, um, that symbol, right? Same as my, this one right here too. So it's the same, it's the same symbol. This one right here. And this one right here. Why do I wear all these things? I wear these things because they mean something to me. You know what I mean? Like, I wear these things because they mean something. They're all spiritual things. Um, I wear my beads because I manifested my beads. I wear these things because this um, this is the Om symbol. Yeah, the Om symbol. Just, just like my necklace. So everything I wear is my own. Um, they mean something to me, okay? I don't wear stuff just to wear stuff. 
I'm a very meaningful man, passionate man about myself. <laughs> but all this is stuff on my website. Um, Soulable, go ahead, and, go ahead and inbox with Soulable. I think I might give it to you. It's, it's a tiger eye bracelet, okay? It's tiger eye, isn't it? It's a bracelet, it's not a necklace. It's too small, it's a bracelet. It's a tiger eye. I might just email the same one to you. So, you, so you're gonna feel my energy. But I'm telling you, when you feel my energy, don't be surprised now, just chill. Don't, don't get overwhelmed, because I have a strong energy. <laughs> hey, Caroline, how are you? <laughs> don't know what to tell you different, bro. You do you. Appreciate it, Jinx. I, I appreciate it. Do you wear any copper? No, I don't wear copper. Anyways, people, um, thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate the company, even though you all let me talk so much because it's, it's getting dark now, and I, I wanted to experience outside for a little bit, but now it's getting dark here. And then you are just... Listen, you can order this on my website, okay? I have... Oh, you know what? Let me show you all one that I have that I love. Man. <laughs> this is... You know what? This is all the stuff that I wear on a regular basis. This is my personal thing right here, okay? My personal site. I mean, my personal wearing right here. This is what I wear for real. This is my own stuff when I feel like it. So this is, not, this is the bracelet for the ohm symbol. The ohm symbol bracelet. It has an opening. I love it. I love it. I love it. I think this is this one of my favorite ones. Then I have my king's bracelet. <laughs> this is my king. Or queen. And I wear my chakra and my mother beads um, combination. This is chakra and this is mother beads. I wear these. Another one, blue. Blue with all my chakra stones right here with the tree of life pendant. Of course, I have my, my blue crown where I wear my blue outfits. My blue crown, ain't it pretty? City crown, beautiful. Hey, all stuff is on my website now. It's a beautiful, beautiful um, stuff right here. Then I have my other black one. My black crown bracelet. Blue chakra, tree of life beads. Other um, stuff, I, I have, I just, but this this all I wear. I, I don't wear silver and, I mean, I don't wear a lot of silver and gold and stuff. I don't wear gold, I don't wear, I don't wear no diamonds. I don't wear none of them things. I, I wear stuff that brings something. <laughs> My voice. Which one, Caroline? I mean, Caroline. Love the energy. Yeah, thank you. The rose gold queen bracelet. Okay. Actually, that's very pretty. You want the, 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 the blue one? Crown, you have like 10 of my, um, my necklace. If you want it, I'll send it to you. I'll send it to you tomorrow with your package, okay? Oh, you mean... You mean this? Hey, by the way... You like shiny things. By the way, you are will actually realize that I'm not, I'm not attached to anything physical. So I'm not the type to say, no, I, no, no, I won't give you this. No, I, I won't give you this. I, I ain't the type of dude. I don't have those type of sentiment. I mean, I don't have those type of con, um, attachments um, to things or to anything at all in life. I detach very quickly. So that's why I could say, okay, you want this? I'll give it to you. You want this? I'll give it to you. One shot of my back? I'll give you the, the shot of my back. I actually like the gold crown too. Isn't this pretty? Do you need me to send A? What's that mean? But anyways, people, hey, I do appreciate you all. I hope I bring, I hope I brought some knowledge into healing. Um, thank you so much. I hope I bring, I hope I brought some understanding to healing and self-love. And I, I really hope um, that you all got what I'm saying. And I hope that you all will start making or applying this wisdom to do things um, intentionally, you know, like intentional things on a daily basis so that you could actually better yourself because it takes every step make you know as you walk the journey daily it means something and you have to be intentional about it remember this is one journey enjoy the journey don't don't go through this journey with attachments don't you know don't go through this journey with hate and anger you're missing the point this is one you have one chance to just live and enjoy living don't just let people and somebody told me somebody inboxed me the other day and say, I'm 19 years old and I'm struggling with my, my relationship. 
Number one, you are 19 years old. Number two, relationship at 19 is pointless. 20, 21, 22 is pointless. You don't know yourself yet. You haven't been exposed to the world. You haven't been exposed to you. But you need relationship. You're missing everything else when you focus on relationship. You're missing everything when you, when you are in a bad relationship. You know when you're in a bad relationship, you miss everything else? Because you are so focused on being better. You are so focused on... You can't even be focused on the things that you should be focused on. You are focused on getting, you know, you are focused on being respected. You are focused on being liked. You are focused on being accepted. You are focused on trying to be, you know, trying to be what he wants or be what she wants. You are focused. You're not even focused on the things that matter. This entire universe, it is so big. But yet we are focused on one thing just to make somebody accept us. That's not worth it. It is not worth it. It blocks you. That's why bad relationship, if it's not Growing you, you should grow from it. Seriously. Because when we are in this crappy relationship, I'm serious. You should be manifesting peace and love and millions of dollars and the house and the car and that business and this and this life and traveling. Not focus on um, if she's going to like me tomorrow. Is she going to like me today? Why does he always cheat? Why is he lying? Why is she doing this? That is what you manifesting? This? That nonsense? You choose to focus on this when you have all these things? Come on, man. It makes no sense. It doesn't make no sense at all. There's so much things out there to be connected with. The damn, have you ever, have you ever seen the sunrise? Seriously, have you ever seen the sunrise? And you was just so amazed. It's like, oh my God, that is beautiful. Look at the sky. Oh, have you ever seen the sunset and the, and the sky is orange and red and all kind of different colors and you feel so one with the damn universe? It's like you begin to feel one with the stars. Like you feel, it's like you feel one with the clouds. Like you begin to feel one sort of peace. And all. That's what you focus on. Yeah, we're focusing on this garbage. Seven billion people and we focus on one. One is blocking you from your life. One is closing your heart. One is stopping your chakras. One is actually making you depressed. One is blocking your manifestations. One is blocking your spirit from traveling. One is blocking you from love, from life. It's not worth it, man. Come on. 7.8 billion people and you allowed one person. You allowed one person to F it up. You only, you only hear once. You only hear once. You are only living this beautiful life once. And then when, you, when you're on your deathbed, when you're sick and you can't move, no, you regret giving your attention to all these crappy people who, didn't, who never deserved you. You I oh, wish I had the time to go back and just enjoy life. Why wait until then? Why wait? Do it now. Enjoy life. Travel. See the world. Have fun. Relax. See yourself as beautiful. Love yourself. Love upon yourself. Take yourself out. Be at peace. Don't force anything. Don't rush anything. Don't force anything. And don't stop anything from leaving. Listen, you got to stop forcing things in your life. If it's meant to be in your life and you are attracted in your life, it will come. It will come. It will come so freely. It will just be, you're like, oh, I want, oh, shoot. Okay. Okay. Wow. And when it's going, let it go. Just, all right. Hey. Nothing is meant to last on your journey but you. Nothing is meant to stay with you forever on your journey. The things that you liked years ago, you don't like anymore. The, the, even your taste change. The crap that you loved back then, you don't even like them anymore. The people that you thought attractive, you ain't even cute no more. The, pe the, the foods that you enjoy, you don't even enjoy them no more. Because nothing was meant to stay with you forever. Nothing was meant to be with you on this journey with forever.